for Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. We're back live with the Humble Prince, Sahara FM Radio. Thank you guys for tuning in. Guys, sorry, I forgot to mention, if you want to call in, please do. Uh, if you just want to say what's up to Bimi Tokwe or Chichi, uh, the number to call is 646-559-6640. I've been seeing all your extension three. Um, I've been reading all your um, Facebook uh, messages to, sorry, I only did it for Bimi, though. Oh, uh, really? No, but that, that was fast, by the way. No, no, the, I'm the, just the, the, the way you, I'm sure some people are like, ah, because people do that to me when I'm on the radio. Right. They're like, the number was too fast. Stay slow. Oh, 646-559-6640, extension three. Right. <laughs> and, and, yeah. And tonight's show is brought to you by the documentary Finding Fella, which is about Fella Anikulakukuti. Please go to their website, www.findingfella.com, for more information and showtimes. I think I should start talking slow from now. Ah. I'll do other things fast, but I'll talk slow. How's that? That works. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, guys, thank you so much for um, joining us again. Um, let's talk about the after party. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, Bimmy, go ahead. <laughs> I, I wasn't there because oh, as soon as the show was over, I ran to my room to sleep. Reason being that I arrived the States that day. Basically, really? yes. I you, were hu- you were a hustler, yeah, hard this, working. This was like 13 hour flight from Dubai. From Dubai so yeah. I went into the hotel, took a shower, got into hair and makeup, came to the show. That was it. And that was a beautiful dress you had Thank on. Thank you. And Shout out to April by Kumbi. That's April. my best friend. She's a designer and she makes oh, she a lot did. of my dresses. Oh, she oh, makes nice. you, and she, she she makes sure you they show what you <laughs> good, what you got. Because when I mean, she got on stage, I was like, hmm, Father, uh, uh, <laughs> I said, Father, forgive me for I have oh, sinned. Yeah. <laughs> sinned. <laughs> yeah. No, Thank yeah, no you. you have you have a beautiful figure and you're Thank showing you. off. Thank so um, it wasn't the pictures in Mexico. You weren't in Mexico, but you were in Miami. That was last year. That that was that you? Yeah. Father, really? I, I, I have really seen. No, that really? was a good picture, man. I mean, no, you have all the things that boys are like, man. I mean, but I, I was, I felt. I just have to say, I've never addressed anything about those photos in public. I just want to say that, I, th- I put that photo on Instagram, and then I got on a 12-hour flight. It was on Arik to Nigeria, and right. then on the flight, I met, I ran into Alamide and Fino and Co. They were coming from the NEAs. and they were like, "Ooh, we saw your photo," Ooh, and they were making such a huge deal out of it. I was just like, "What are you talking about?" I got into Nigeria and then I opened up my Instagram and boom, like, the, and then it was on every single blog. And it was embarrassing because I was like, what? where were you when I had a master's degree? When I got a master's degree, <laughs> when I was, when I was promoted That's at work, I yes. mean, come on. And then I take one photo in a, in a bathing suit. It's a one piece. So, and it was all over the place. I was just like, yeah, really? But, um, Grimmie, you were showing, you know, no, it you is showing embarrassing. It. It is about me as a female because it's Go like ahead. you do we do so much more than that. Yeah. There's so much more we want to accomplish. And that's what you they actually happened to me like a week and a half ago. Um, and what happened? I didn't like it at all. It was also on my Instagram. There's actually a, a old photo, like something I post you posted so long ago, I have five hundred pictures. You don't even remember that you posted it. And someone who went all the way into my history took it and posted it and now it's like everywhere. So let me ask you something. What what, what do you say to people that say maybe you shouldn't have posted a picture? It's First of all, I'm young. <laughs> oh, you are young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm no. living. You know, okay. I just, I'm having fun. I'm with my friend. You know, it's not, at the, at the moment, I didn't think like, okay, someone's going to take this picture and just twist it in such a negative light. You know, it's, my I Instagram is, you know. I, 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 didn't, I didn't take it negative. I appreciated the picture. <laughs> I, I, the, the thing is, is, I just, I just, I mean, I, that's why I refuse to lock my Instagram because I feel like it's making me a prisoner. I'm not going to lock it. I'm going to put whatever I want to put there. Exactly. Thank you. You right. know, however, I mean, I just feel like, especially the bloggers, they need to try to balance their information. Right. You know, so put something that, you know, put that and put something when I do something intellectual, which I do every day, all the time on my show. I have a five-week day a week show, and I talk about so many different things. They, they won't say, oh, Bimmy spoke about this today. No, but Bimmy took one photo. Right. And then they splashed all around. And I was like, so is this what it is? Like, that's, that's all I have to do. So I, I should just, you know, wear bikinis all day, every day. I'll be oh, famous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 It's work for some people. Though. Talk about what do you think about this whole situation? Yeah, yeah. Talk about what do you think about this whole situation they're talking media about? media has, um, has changed over the last few years, especially yeah. social media. So nowadays, I, 
even before I post anything, I'm, I'm obviously I'm a guy. I don't have the same. You know, exactly. <laughs> we don't have the same appeal. Uh, but I still kind of have to think about it. Look, okay, what's the worst case, the best case scenario before right. I post it? Because people nowadays, information that gets out there, controversy sells. Mm -hmm. and it they does. Can look at every single celebrity right. that has been successful in the last few years. It has an element of you know um, yeah. controversy around right. themselves. Yeah. That's and just it, the world we live in. It passes the wrong message really mm. to young people who are trying to get into the industry. Should I just take my clothes off and be famous, or should I just be myself and be this round, well-rounded individual, and you know, people like me for who I am? Or hey, I have a hot body, show it. So I, can, <laughs> I mean, well, it works yeah, for some likes. people. Yeah, yeah, it works for some people, though. Honestly, I mean, again, we were talking about Kim Kardashian. Look how she came into the game. Yep. Yeah. And now <laughs> she's happily married. I'm not. not and <laughs> a lot of people, ju a lot of people judge her, call her a hoe, and everything. If mm -hmm. she, even if that, she's really smart. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people are saying she's not smart. Her, it's her. What do you call it? Her mm -hmm. managerial team or whatever. Mm -hmm. She, she's making it work for her. Whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. she's coming out with a book, um, of selfies. Of selfies. Yeah. She has a video, um, like an, a, an app called Hollywood. She's making a whole ton of money, and she was just GQ Woman of the Year. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me there weren't there weren't other women that qualified for that um, for that um, title, GQ Woman of the Year? Exactly. Kim Kardashian. Hey, you got. She's probably the most popular woman on, on the face of this earth now, and she has no defined talent. <laughs> Honestly, I think about Honestly, it. Honestly, yeah, she's yeah. like my role model in terms of <laughs> okay, how you can I mean, develop a brand. Real quick, I know, like, what talent does she have? She I doesn't. She, she, a reality well, she show she, that's scripted. Uh -huh. She doesn't sing. She can't act. I've seen her act, acting. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, she's a beautiful. I, I'll say well, she's, she's a pretty hot. woman. That's she her has, talent. She's, she's, she's oh. beautiful, oh. and um, she she she's a good businesswoman. Very, I guess. very. I give her that. Okay. Because her that. Talk, uh, well, Tokwa, because your, your demeanor that. changed when you when he said that. So yeah. Tokwa said it. I'm not I'm not agreeing <laughs> with him either. She turned uh, a <laughs> looks into an empire. Yes, that's impressive. Yeah, so, uh, hey, so, you know, you got to give it up to her. So, Very guys, I know we got to round up soon and everything. So, um, Chiri, please um, let the people know what, what, um, what can we expect from you? What are some of the things you're working on? Um, um, how they can get in contact with you? Does anybody want to give a shout-out? Please, the floor is yours. <laughs> yeah. Aside from the NGO, I'm going to try and promote tourism in Nigeria. Okay. Um, that's something I want to look into. I want to go to Calabar Carnival, just experience hot tourist attractions that I've been hearing about in Nigeria. And, Hopefully take you guys along on the trip. Oh, fantastic, man. Yes. So and please, um, are you going to be coming back to New York uh, during that yeah, year? Yeah, of course. This is my this is my state. I'll be here, like, a lot just to get things together, come back. Okay, you definitely. Know? So you definitely got to come back on the show, man, because this was kind of uh, uh, rushing everything. everything. <laughs> oh, somebody wanted to ask you real quick, um, are you in a relationship or? <laughs> I'm in the relationship with my business. Uh, guys, uh, hey, hey. So. Yeah. stay away from Nigerian man now, right now, man. They will definitely derail you, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, God forbid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, man. So. Uh, talk about, um, no, talk about, yeah, go oh, ahead, yeah. man. Um, NEA, next year is the 10th tenth year. 10th year, year, planning right. for that from day one. Um, I also run a company called Raging Bull Entertainment, a managed talent. Oh, um, that's that t-shirt. Pop yeah. that, pop that. Yeah. yeah, Raging Bull in the building. <laughs> yeah. But nice. uh, an extension of NEA is where we meet a lot of up-and-coming ta uh, right. talent that all they need is guidance and how, how to go about the business. We cannot kind of look away. It's kind of like an NGO kind of thing for us now. Right. That we have to be part of that development process as well besides NEA. So I'm um, going to be working on talent management, content management, production, and a whole lot of other stuff in entertainment. Yeah. So let me th let me say this, and this is some things um, I was going to ask you. Um, some people say that the NEA doesn't really have an intrinsic value as compared oh. to other award shows like Nigeria. They said there was one, I think, what, the one in Houston? Oh, uh, Up or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot what it is, yeah. um, but everything. What, what do you, how would you like to address those people? Well, there's, there's a truth, element of truth to that as well, a part of what, which is why we're doing a lot of what we're doing in terms right. of adding value from a developmental uh, standpoint is that we cannot just have the award every year and we don't add value to the industry. We have we add value in the sense of promoting the music and okay, the culture right, internationally, right. which is the, uh, the the baseline objective of NEA, is to take Nigerian music outside, is like export, to export, because we've studied the fact that what makes America a great country is that it's able to export its culture to other places mm. and people buy into it and that's value for America in so many ways. Definitely. So we feel that we can do the same thing for Nigeria, right. you mean, know, even though it's harder for us because yeah. of the language and all the other things, but we can still try. We can the cross Jamaicans did, you know, and took over in the, in the, in the 90s. Right. I don't know, you, we were here, all we were hearing was every club you go to was Jamaican music. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what spun the interest of like, why can't we do this for Nigerian music? Right. You know, so... 
Uh, yeah, and in all fairness, man, you guys have been doing this for nine years. Some of these other award shows, you know, they're just, um, just up and coming and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. so we will continue to do the development thing with you know, companies like Raging Bull, building talent, right. even, uh, even like a beauty pageant, for example, it's, right. it's some form of talent. We yeah. can nurture it and help them understand, you know, segue how Nigeria works, how Africa works, because it's a different market. Exactly. So uh, we'll continue to do that. Right. Um, Bimi. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Um, Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I know it was uh, impromptu and everything. I know you have to go and everything, but I really, really appreciate you coming. Thank you. Your humility and everything. So what are some of the things we can expect from you? How can people um, listen to the show and all that? Okay, well, um, I'm on air at The Beat 99.9, uh, right. Mondays through Fridays from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Big shout out to DG, by the yes, way. Yes, so you can listen to us wherever you are in the world, www.thebeat99.com. Right. Listen to us live wherever you are. Right. Um, also, Ninja FM, I have to promote our sister station. It's nice. a pigeon station speaking station and uh yes i'm program director for that station oh, as well fantastic. we're just uh so he's like the next uh, media <laughs> conglomerate over here man yeah so yeah, yeah you need to listen to them as well niger uh, niger102.com that's okay. the website you can listen live wherever you are we're on instagram we're on facebook we're on twitter we're everywhere um so that's for Niger FM and Beat FM. Now, on my own personal project, I'm working on a TV show. Okay. Um, I have been working on it for a long time, but like I was talking, to, uh, speaking with Chinere, um, TV in Nigeria is very expensive. Really? And it is very expensive. You want to put on a quality, quality production. Wow. You know, it's easy to just throw a couch somewhere in a nice living room and just put on a camera and say you're doing a show. But that's not the kind of show I want to do. No offense to anybody who's doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's doing great. But this is totally something else, totally different. So I'm working on that. And also, now that everybody is doing something online, I think that's something I'm going to tap into as well. You know, everybody has like a YouTube show or, or YouTube something. YouTube channel, right. Yes, that's what I'm, I'm going to do that as well. So it's, it's a lot. Wow, that's um. So if, if if TV and video is so expensive in Nigeria, how are we able to come up with a with a, like thousands of Nigerian movies every day, man? Well, those ones are it's simple. There are financiers in the East. They have money. They are rich Igbo men oh. in the East. That's why, you know. So they give people money and they say produce. They kind of dictate the trend of movies. Okay. And so people go shoot these movies in three five days. Chop chop chop. Now a movie that's supposed to be one part, they chop it up into two parts read so that's why you watch some nollywood movies and you see somebody crying for 15 minutes <laughs> no because, editing i always because, say no, that they know they know what they're doing yeah. because you now you have to buy two discs and right. that's more money wow. you know now there is something called that i call the new nollywood which is younger more educated people you know putting their money together and making nice movies the likes of mme song and so and so they're making us like and even rita dominic produces movies as well she's okay. got movies like the meeting so they're more modern more relatable you know well-produced movies i call it the new nollywood that's what it is okay. so that the men in the east shout out to them because they had they did help build the industry right. are not dictating everything in nollywood so mm. yeah that's okay. why it's the, the movies are so yeah. <laughs> sorry um somebody I, I was supposed to ask this at the beginning of the show um people just want to know what, what kind of topics do you cover on your show like what do you talk about is I talk just about current everything. events everything okay. i talk about everything from relationships. Uh, relationships to government to okay. And, you know, I, I get inspiration for the show from anything, even stuff that happens in my personal life or stuff that's happened really? to my friends. Okay. You know, for example, a friend of mine had a, you know how you have a git man? Uh, he went on a short vacation to his village, came back with a 15-year-old girl and said, this is my wife. And she felt funny about it, you know, so she didn't know what to do. So I threw it open, and it was interesting to hear people's uh, wow, reactions. Yes, fifteen year old. Yes, because people from his side of you know Nigeria marry that young. Yeah, that's um. So yeah, so she was like, "What do I do? This guy has a teenage girl in my house, and he says that's his wife. Do I send him away, or do I? Is, am I wrong for sending him away because that's what they do in his part of Nigeria?" So it was interesting. Some people said, "As long as you know right. they're not bothering you." Some people said, "That's disgusting. That's child right. marriage." You know, so it's different views, different wow, things. That is um, unbelievable, man. Um, Vic, um, Omalicha said to tell you. Oh um, hey, Omalicha, what's up? How yeah, you doing? Yeah, well, Omalicha actually um, calls the show every week oh, and gives us uh, that's nice. the latest just from Nigeria. Nice so one. I actually emailed her. I was serious. She's I was lovely. Like, she's lovely. Yeah, great people, man. I said, yeah. um, "I'm interviewing Bimi. What can I ask?" Her? She said, "No, she's chill. Just ask her whatever and uh, <laughs> ask her relationship stuff." And uh, so people want to know, are you in a relationship? And don't say you're in a relationship with your business. Deadline's taken. <laughs> yes, I am in a relationship. Oh, good. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and that's it? <laughs> and he's listening. Shout out to him. How you doing? We're not going to get you. We can't, we can't give your name on no the air, man. Name. No, no name. No, name, nothing. Man. I don't we want people. <laughs> I don't want Linda Cage in my business. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Fantastic, man. Um, so, um, just real quick, please. Um, 
I, I got into this video thing just over a year ago. It's been, mm -hmm. it's been a blast and everything. And people have been helpful and everything. Mm -hmm. I, thanks to Howard for giving me the opportunity. You've been in it years. If there's any advice you could give me, please. Um, just just be yourself. I always tell people oh. who are starting out in radio, talk to, speak into the mic like you're talking to your friends. That's what I do, right? That's just what this, right. Just, just be yourself, and you okay. know, and just stay on top of your game, you know, be in tune with what's happening, know a little bit about everything. Definitely. Yes, I, yeah. I try to stay current, man. We had a good relationship roundtable coming up, but unfortunately, you guys have to go, so uh, we have to save for next time. So, yeah. guys, again, thank you so much for your time. If there's anybody you want to give a shout out to or just acknowledge, please, the floor is yours. Um, I would say, let me give a shout out to my mother. <laughs> Mommy, good <laughs> listening. Thank you so much. Honestly, being in Nigeria for two months and being away for that long, I really appreciate my mother. Oh, uh, fantastic, yeah. man. Yeah. And um, hopefully we'll look, um, keep, um, keep in touch with you and see what, you know, where you're working on. Wish you um, continued success. Um, talk about anybody you want to give a shout out to? Um, hey. I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Bimi, she, oh, you know, for you. coming through for us, Bovi, Funke Akindele, yeah, all the great, presenters, yeah. all the performers, right. and of course the city of New York and all the fans, because without them, really, we, 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 we can't pull this off every year. They come, yeah. they support us in every which way. So shout out to all everyone that's part of this movement. I call it a movement because people really support us on right. every quarter. So sorry, we might get to you. Sorry, we skip. What did you guys think of the after party? I know we yeah, skipped that topic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I heard. Chimmy, go, wait, wait, go. What do you? No, no, you gotta fix that. You gotta fix that. I'm How, telling you right now. What happened? What happened? Ralph was supposed to be here tonight, but um, yeah, we had we a packed show. We should ask Ralph, but it's always like that though because everybody kind of rushes out of the of the of the main event straight to the after party when i got there the line was like i was like can i get in this party? you know what raf told me raf yeah. told me that there was already a line while the show was going on can you imagine that's, that's the, the way line. it is right. i always tell people after party is actually our biggest event believe it or not wow. <laughs> that because um, everybody comes out Trey, what did you want them to fix um the whole getting in i think what it is that at the moment at that night everybody felt like a celebrity that's so of course everybody had a reason to get in right now to not have to wait to not have to pay that's the problem and then attitudes and egos and it was just and like, the celebrities right. come with 10 people like, yeah uh, know. you know new york city clubs don't play like that yeah. 10 yeah. people like hello you know yeah even so, some uh, some two guys won the um they won tickets to the oh show yeah, and yeah they couldn't and get they, in they, well they got in oh, eventually, got in eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm. but everything so maybe uh maybe you didn't miss much <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'm grateful for the sleep that I was able to get. <laughs> but maybe if, if you rough. know it's this huge, maybe you should hire another. I know it's expensive. Hire another hall. Yeah. And just yeah. have your own. Because yeah. clubs can be small and cramped yep. and, yeah. you know, all there. Yeah. 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 Maybe we will do that. do that. Definitely for next year, we have, we have to go. A big shout out to Empire Ventures, man. Yeah. They, did a, they did a fantastic yeah. job, yeah. man. Good they job. Good. Yeah. Good so good uh, job. that's that. Um, Bimmy, so the floor is yours. You already gave his name. I mean, we already gave what's his name a shout out already. Uh, <laughs> There's anybody else you want to acknowledge? Uh, or, definitely yeah. my family. Yes. Uh, my brother came out from Canada to see me. Oh, uh, he, yeah, so he attended the show and nice. he was very helpful with me backstage. Uh, shout out to Dinola, um, and he's back in Canada now. Um, definitely shout out to everyone who at home, all the entertainers and people who listen to the beats, Ninja FM. Everybody listening right now, thank yes. you so much for tuning in. Exactly. Thank you. Right. Please, can you do me a favor? Yes. You, you forgot to thank me, though. Oh, wait, um, now. We're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, can you just tell some people to follow me on Instagram? Okay, just well, what's, your, what's, your, what's your stuff on Instagram? At Humble Prince Olu. Oh, so follow him, guys, at Humble Prince Olu. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, um, follow you, him. You can also put it on your Instagram and Twitter. I, I'll do, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, not, that's not too much to ask, is it? No, no, it's not. It's guys, not. Uh, please, um, like a, a round of applause for all thank you guys. You. Man, you guys thank are so you humble and everything. Us. Thank you so I much. I really, really thank you guys for coming. Please, let's keep in touch. If there's anything else you're working on, I'd like to definitely um, develop relations because that's one thing I think, honestly, the Nigerian entertainment community is lacking. We, we, we're, trying, we're, tr we're competing with each other instead of working with each other. Mm, yes. Honestly, I think if we work together, we'll definitely grow more i mean nigeria entertainment man i think we i mean we're right there on the forefront yeah yep. honestly we're, we're taking over so. really so uh guys there you have it um bring me from the beat 99 Thank you very much yep executive producer of the nigerian entertainment awards and next year it's going to be the 10th year so it's going to be huge we're planning right now um just like i found my way to be a presenter i'm going to try to get on one community <laughs> committee on the other see how we can help to make this big and um yes. most beautiful girl in nigeria tourism chinri adogu Thank you. You know what? You're going to go places, man, because your attitude, honestly. You're so oh, down to earth and so you. friendly and um, just, you know, pleasure to talk to, man, because um, 
I saw you that night at the award show. You were just very friendly. Some, cool, yeah. you know, so yeah. Nigerian yeah. girl, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Nigerian girl, they went half as flies. You were like, yeah, hi again. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah she's kind of hot. I was wondering who really won. If she didn't win. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, some of these girls are begging for tickets and. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, guys, there you have it. Live with the humble prince. We're gonna take a break right now, and uh, please enjoy this clip um, from uh, Jonathan. Do we have Grammy's 30th birthday? You didn't, did it, I didn't see, you didn't. What? Um, John, but yeah, did, you didn't cry though. Cry? Yeah. Why would I cry? It's it was, it was a happy moment. No, no, oh. like tears of joy or something. Yeah, oh, and big shout out to Moshu that, um, she was my makeup artist for the NEAs. Oh, I, yeah. Somebody gave me her number and I called her and she was fantastic. Right. And she took me around today shopping. She's a great girl, so shout out to yeah, her. Yeah, Moshu that makeup, she does my makeup for like years now. She's, oh, really? Now oh, yeah. she's a good friend best friend she's a really good person oh fantastic man that's uh that's what's up yeah so yeah you want me to cry not cry but like tears of joy like when your dad was and i was i kept watching the video where's the special guy man who is he but I didn't really... everybody kept doing that yeah like, like, thank god in the park i thought somebody was gonna propose or my something. brother was like shame on all of you because you all say she's a good friend and none of you is her man this and that they yeah. find out. right no but i was single then not now Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's what matters, man. <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you so much. You're live with the Humble Prince of Harvard Radio, and uh, we'll be right back.